Hello, Hello Cine Series. They all say the same thing. I'll believe it when I see it. But that's backwards. Belief comes first. Only then can you see it. I'm asking you to use your imagination. I was interested in telling a story about uh, the best of humanity, people who were trying to accomplish something noble and larger than themselves, um, uh, to explore that spectrum of the human experience. Of course, these people are people after all. They're, they're flawed. Uh, they're, they, they're dealing with the messiness and complications of everyday life the way the rest of us are. Um, but but their mission is a noble one uh, that requires sacrifice. And I think that's something in, in everyone can relate to in their own fashion. The show was presented to me in the way that Bose just articulated. It was about um, the, the human spirit and a, a obviously a mission to Mars, but specifically what Sadie, um, who I play, um, what where her background and what she was dealing with. Um, and um, it was, it was, it felt very embedded in human truths and um, desires and flaws and, and so I, I didn't, yeah, it wasn't presented to me as a purely sci-fi, sort of non-humane project. Otherwise, I probably would have been very interested. It's the next great human pioneering achievement. Uh, and if you look at human history, uh, you know, we, we've crossed continents, we've climbed mountains, we've traversed the oceans, uh, we've, we've gone to the moon and back, and Mars is the next step. That's five people. fulfilling the destiny of eight billion. If, if what you want to explore is that deep human impulse to try to understand the world around you, to, to grapple with the big questions of life, to, to venture into the unknown, uh, and, and you want to explore humans pushing themselves to their limits, and at those limits, Mars is here in the 21st century, our version of crossing the ocean for the first time or climbing Mount Everest for the first time. Plus, I, personally, I've just always had a, a, a deep fascination with science and space exploration that goes way back to my childhood. So, um, so I, I get to kill two birds with one stone, uh, pl plumb the depths of the human spirit and also geek out on cool science, uh, space science stuff. I really think that the, the deeper and, and more s substantive uh, d uh, you know, mission is to answer the question, potentially, are we alone? Uh, is there evidence of life past or present on Mars? And if there is, doesn't that fundamentally change our outlook of the entire universe? How does that make you feel, putting your lives at that much risk? What about your family? All our families know what we signed up for. Do you ever think about mom? You can't let her bring us down, too. I was interested in the subject of the cost of accomplishing something great. Uh, and, and certainly Tom Haggerty and his daughter is a, a storyline that we spend a lot of time with, but that's only one version of exploring that question. Uh, so, so with each of the characters, it gave us a different vantage point uh, because they have different backgrounds, different perspectives, different relationships with their loved ones, um, different needs and desires. Through all of these characters collectively, we began to see a bigger picture of all the ways that, that a mission like this can take its toll. For Sadie, I think, we, I mean, we deal with motherhood, and what it will mean for Sadie is, is to not become a parent. And I think that that, um, I think lots of people can identify with that. If you've got a very uh, demanding career, whether you're a man or a woman, w w whether you feel that you can do both things, and in Sadie's case, I mean, it's a very extreme case, but, I, 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 um, she could potentially, but um, Ollie would then be a single father, and um, so it's it's what you will sacrifice for something that you feel so strongly about, and I think that everyone deals with that in various aspects of their lives and to varying degrees. But um, this is just an extreme version of that, and I think that's interesting because it's universal. We've got one shot at this, and I need the best team. My focus right now is my daughter. Tell me to say no, I'm gonna say no. I think the way he writes, I felt immediately connected to the characters. Now it's nuanced and real and I, I, I feel it. And if, if you don't feel it, then I don't think you can play it as an actor. So uh, I think that's credit to Bo, really. The act of writing is an act of empathy. 
I mean, what are you doing if not trying to get into someone else's skin? And oftentimes, a person that may have a very different life than you've had. Uh, and you're looking for the ways that you can get in. Uh, Anna used the word universal, and, and I, I think there are certain universal aspects to, to all of our lives. You know, love, loss, grief, joy, despair. Um, trust, betrayal, these are things we all understand. So you say to yourself, what, what in my own personal experience uh, is, is similar to what this character is going through that helps me begin to understand th how they would behave and react uh, in a given situation? Um, that's what it is to write. Uh, and, and if you're doing it well, then you're, you're also taking your process of empathy in order to write and now sharing it with the audience who has the opportunity to find a way into this character um, the way you did from the other end, the writing side. Um, and, and actors, of course, are, are the uh, epitome of this. Denise, open the door, baby. Did we make a mistake? I've got four people whose lives depend on my judgment. I can't have you doubting me. Lenny, it's Essie. You could be the person that discovers life on Mars. I would certainly hope that our desire to explore Mars and our need to protect the Earth are not mutually exclusive. Um, I, I, I don't think Mars uh, should be seen as some sort of uh, backup. Uh, you know, hey, we've trashed one planet, so let's move to another. Uh, I think that Mars has a lot to teach us about ourselves and about our own planet. Uh, I, I think that any endeavor in which all of humanity can unite behind something, like going to another planet or saving the Earth, um, has value. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, if anything, going to another planet will remind us what a, sp what a special planet we have here. Um, Mars is an incredibly distant, desolate, and harsh, dangerous place. Uh, when you look at Mars compared to the paradise, essentially, that, that we've, we have here on Earth, um, hopefully people will value it even more. So I think the two things complement one another. Thank you.